Being unconventional, welcome to my studio. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is some mead and white paint mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800. These are my new palette knives with rounded tips, at least two of them. I have a whole slew of Atelier colors mixed with Aussie Floetrol. And I'm willing to take some risks with this 12 inch round canvas. I'm just going to put a fairly nice deep-ish flood coat. It's not pillow paint. It probably could be next time I try this. I may I may do the pillow paint routine, which is nothing more than I'm talking about latex house paint. Now I could probably hit this really quickly with a torch because I see that there seems to be a lot of bubbles. There seem to be a lot of bubbles in it, but I think Part of the thing about this particular paint for me is that there seem to be some filaments in it. So let's give it a quick hit. Just because, and that was quick. Now I'm only, right now, I am only going to use the Atelier and Pebio cell activators. Starting with something I haven't used yet, which is the Rich Gold. And I'm going to mix it with some with uh, magenta. I am if it comes out. Note to self to open that one better. I think I'm also going to use some Amsterdam black. And I'm going to I've. Got a nice damp studio rag to wipe off. I'm going to try and use my my wallpaper. <laughs> what are they called? Clamp. I'm going to use some phalo turquoise atelier and some Amsterdam black and a little bit of dioxazine purple, which is just a master's touch brand. I have no idea how much white space will be left, if any. I'm going to use a smaller palette knife. And I've got some... I thought this was golden. But it says Amsterdam. I'm not sure what this is, but it's a very magenta color. So I'm going to try it. Actually, I want some black with that because I see that there's... I could blow into the places with the where there's no cells happening. And I do like scraping my, my tools off right on the canvas, generally speaking. All right, I have. A desire to use some of this Atelier <laughs> CID red yellow it's a mix it's a custom mix so I'm sorry about that oh well and this is not a spin situation so we're not even thinking about that although it's not impossible to spin something that's not pillow paint it's just unlikely that it's going to work as well as something else but I love using the palette knife so I'm kind of thrilled to to be experimenting with it Trying to close up my bottle so that I go. The break, I'm getting used to the break. It 
it's working kind of well. I did put some of my colors in my way. I have a Prussian blue that I want to use with some of the rich gold. I'm tempted to bring back the bigger palette knife. If this works well, there will be come a point in time when I will be much more at ease using my primary elements, my prism pores, and my But I'm having fun, and that was the whole point. And I'm not using a lot of anything. So even though the Aussie Floetrol is extremely expensive, I'm not using it. I have some Boom Gel Stain that's a metallic pearlescent violet, and I want to try it. I've been told, and I don't have a lot of experience, that you can use it as a cell activator. You don't need to mix it with anything. So I guess we'll find out together if that's true or not. I think I'm going to bring back the bigger palette knife. Although I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I kind of want some black again. I love the colors that I've got and I'm really curious to see how they're going to dry. What do I want with that? Maybe some Pebio Precious Iridescent Gold. I kind of like the white space. I'm gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna be sorry to see it go. So I didn't see any cells from the Boom Gel. I want to scrape that off. And maybe I'll just use a different palette knife. I want some more of that rich gold. I like the way that looks. I love the way the magenta... I love the color of the magenta, shall I say. It doesn't look like your typical pour, which is always okay with me. I've left my edges uncovered, so um, the truth about that is... Here's some ginger flower. The truth about that is I can cover them, cover that later. Probably be even easier. I'm kind of out of out of space of, in ways I want to... I don't really want to add a lot more is what I'm trying to say. Because I just like the simplicity of what I have. And I wonder if bringing a skewer into it would be of assistance. I think no. But unless I try, I won't know. No, I don't care for that. But it's easy enough remedied. Now I said I wasn't going to spin. <laughs> And I don't have an easy time spinning anyway. I don't think spinning will make a difference. If it did make a difference, it would probably help get some paint over the edges, but I don't think that the base layer is really dark enough. I do know when I have gouges that I usually just back drag a skewer. And if I don't want them to show up, they disappear. So I didn't do a lot of wrecking, but I could drag a few strands here, there, and everywhere. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes, starting with the white, which could be Artist Loft, or mine is, mine is Meaden, it could be Amsterdam, it could be all kinds of stuff. I don't know if I need what I'm doing, but I'm sort of compelled. So I think I'm also going to cover that up again. All right, so as simple as it is, it's what I like. And so that means I'm going to keep it. And I wish I hadn't taken the break off because I'm going to zoom in at least. Yeah, it took me a minute to, to figure out how to use the break, but 
I think I'm going to give myself a little bit more of this. I wish I could read my writing. <laughs> it's Indian yellow and cadmium red is what it looks like. And I really like the combination. A little here, a little there sort of thing. All right, let me zoom in. It's not complicated. It's kind of a gentle piece of art. Um, it's just basically colors. I don't know if there's any shimmer available because the Atelier is not shimmery. I could have added some Bling It, and you could too. There's almost always a color art coupon code underneath most of my videos with color art in the title. The rich gold is beautiful, and it definitely has some shimmer to it. So, you guys, if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, share my videos, watch them longer. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your kind words and your comments to keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that, too. I wonder if there's something to see in here that I'm not seeing yet. I wonder if one or two spirals are going to be a problem. I am kind of compelled to add a couple of few, few spirals because I can. Oh, by the way, that's the name of my first book next to my second book on the Amazon link under the, li on the link tree, under Show More, under the video. And uh, they're the first and the second 100 videos for, that I made for YouTube, all the uh, tools and the processes. If you shop my Amazon link, you help me out, and I really appreciate that. It's at no added cost to you. My email address is EASPB, and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I can't wait to see how this dries. Really, I can't. And uh, I do give lessons to the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork. So if you'd like to inquire, please use that email address. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. Questions are encouraged. I'm happy to answer you. If I know the answer, I'll let you know. I have over 2,600, maybe 2,700 videos organized by topic, genre, and uh, I have them organized by link. Uh, the links are organized so I can give them to you if you want to ask me for something and you can't find it yourself by going to my YouTube channel. If you do go to my YouTube channel and you find the community board there and my store there, you'll also find the PayPal icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the channel banner, and if you use it, um, you'll be making a donation to help support the production of videos at the studio, and I'll really appreciate that a lot. So thank you guys for being here. I've changed the time that I post to 2.15 Eastern Standard Time, at least for the moment. No telling when it really is. And I am going to torch really quickly. I think I'm going to do that before you're gone, even. And turn the light back on. Because I want to see what happens when I torch. It's nice to have all those colors in the cell activator. I think I'd be in a lot of danger if I hadn't used a somewhat heavy coat of paint. So, you guys take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I'm not sure which is the best way up, but I like the way I was looking at it, so I'm going to change it so you can see it that way too. And I like my new braking apparatus, it's working for me. I love you guys, take care of each other, take care of yourselves. If I can help you with anything on the link tree, I have Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is a student group for, for Facebook. Um, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and More has all kinds of links, like on the link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Um, I blank. All right. I love you guys. I hope you come again tomorrow. I'll see you anon. Take care of each other. I told you that already. I love you. Bye for now. You inspire the heck out of me.